Come on. At least got to be a flathead around. There's any flathead over here, they should be big size. Oh, I thought we would have got a Jew this morning. There's bait everywhere. The bait is that thick this morning that I'm literally hitting it on the way past. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. So today we're using the silly string, all the light gear, what I catch the flathead on, and we're going to be throwing some bigger paddle tail plastics for Jewfish. I can't catch them on the heavier gear, so I don't know what I expect to do on light gear. So anyway, we'll give it a crack. Technique is really simple. Um, so either I'm going to be casting it right next to the bridge, let it sink down, let the paddle tail do all the work, or I'm going to be casting it in this current break, which is over here. So a couple options, a couple variations, which we're going to do today. So if we're lucky, we'll get onto one. If not, I've got a plan B, and that's to go catch some flathead, so. On. What are we on to? What the f what are we on to? Flatty. Good flatty. Good flatty, look at this. Very good flatty, just grabbed it right on my feet. He scoffed that lure. Whew, look at that. Using a paddle tail plastic. I was fishing about mid water and this good flatty has just grabbed it. I was trying for a Jew this morning, but I'll take a decent little flatty. It's actually a pretty good flatty. He might be uh, breakfast, I think. I was like, oh, that's a bit of a dead weight. And yeah, flathead. Good flathead as well. Look at that. That is a solid fish. We'll get the measuring stick out. We'll see how big he is and I'll decide if I want to eat him or not. He's probably the perfect eating size though. So we could be in luck for the catch and cook. That's a solid flatty right there, 54. And that is going to be a good lunch. Pretty stoked on that. <laughs> As I said, I was just going for a quick dew fish before I went to chase flatties at this like pristine spot and we've ended up picking a flathead before we um before we go there but it's a beautiful morning. Have a look at that. Alright, so we'll just dispatch of this flathead. We'll just put him out of his misery. Sorry buddy. Paul will be happy. Let's go get a look at this morning sun though. It's gonna be a beautiful day I think. Take a look at this morning. Get a load of it. Oh, there's a fishing rod down there. Oh, you're kidding, we're in luck, boys. Look at that, there's a fishing rod. Just down there. What is going on? There is literally a fishing rod. Can you see that? I might catch myself a rod. Oh, look at that. See? How's that to start the day off? <laughs> Caught a flatty and now a rod. Little beauty. Look at that. Free plastic as well. How do you even manage that? So we've got a nice Pro-Am reel with a balanced rotor on it. And then the Shakespeare. We got a little Pro-Am combo right here. With a little paddle tail plastic. Probably five bucks. Hey, you don't you don't catch one of these every day, I'll tell you that much. My first rod of the year. Little pro-am combo. Alright, so we've got our one flatted right here, 54 centimeters. That'll definitely do us. So what I'm gonna do is get away from this noise and go to a little spot around that corner over there and go clean him and cook him up. So 
keen to have a bit of a feed. All right, so I'm just walking over to the spot where I want to cook this flatty up now. And I've actually just thought of a really funny idea. If you guys want to see me try and attempt to catch fish using this really cheap rod, which I just caught out of the water, then leave it in the comments below. I feel like it could be a really funny video. And you never know, we might catch a big one on the little Shakespeare Stella combo. All right, so this is a look at the zone where we're going to be preparing the flathead and cooking it up. As you can see, it's a nice little grassy patch and there's a flathead sitting down there. So first things first, we've got to scale him and then we'll get to filleting. So let's do it. Just got to get all these scales off first before I fillet it. Give him a wash and do the other side. That'll about do us. All those scales now off the flathead and we'll fillet him and cook him up. All right, so let's get to filleting this flathead. So there's actually a lot of flathead here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat the whole thing, but still, we'll give it a crack. All right, so there's the second fillet, which we got off that flathead. Um, not bad size at all. There's the other one, bit butchered, but still some meat off there. And yeah, so we've got to debone this now and then it's ready to cook up. All right, so here's all the rib bones after I just deboned it. All there is pretty much full of bones, so can't eat that. All right, so there's our fillets of flathead, fully deboned, fully skinned. Um, I got some extra little chunks like that off because I'm not the best filleter, so got some little nubs, so they can be the taste testers. And then we got the bigger fillets right here. So as you can see, you get a fair bit of meat off the old flathead, fairly good fillets. So let's get the oil cooking up, get that heating and then we'll coat the flatties and then chuck them on and have a feed, so pretty keen. All right, so it's gonna be very simple today. I've just got flour and then salt and pepper mixed in with the flour, so nothing special at all. So we'll just put that there and then coat them. And then when that oil's heated up fully, then we'll chuck them on. So yeah, nothing too crazy, flour, salt, pepper, and that's it, all done. All coated and ready. So when that oil heats up, which it is now burning. All right, that oil is definitely now hot enough, so start putting the flathead on. Oh yeah, look at that. Oil is definitely hot. Oh, he has a sizzle. All right, so we'll give that a couple minutes each side. Turn that down a bit. Definitely gonna burn the pan. No question about that. All right, so now that's cooking up nice and well. You can hear the sizzle. It's starting to get a bit of smell to it. It's looking really good. So we'll give that just two and a half, three minutes, probably three minutes on that side. Then we'll see how it looks and then we'll flip it over and cook the other side, so. We'll flip those little nubs over, so they won't take too long to cook. Oh, take a look at that. Have a look at that. Unbelievable. This is going to turn out real good. All right. That is cooking up so good. Wow. Okay, I reckon we'll flip it over now. Oh my, look at that. Tell you what. Tell you what. That's looking real good. Look how crispy that looks. I reckon those nubs might be done, so we'll take those off. Especially that one. That one's definitely done. Well, let's have a quick taste while the others are still cooking. A bit hot. Really good. Yeah, that's done. Look at that. Master Chef put me on. That looks unbelievable. Get a load of that. Look how golden and crispy it is. Caught literally like two hours ago and now it's on the plate. I don't think it gets much better than this. 
Anyway, we'll get our fork, which we bring along. And we'll try one of these thicker bits. Try this bit right here. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Mm. Oh yeah. Really good. Really good. Take a look at the flesh. Take a look at that. Still smoking. So good. Look at that, it just falls apart. Oh my god. This is probably the best catch and cook we've done. I'm calling it. That's the best one I've done. Honestly, after you have fresh fish of your own, like after you have like fresh flathead fillets or whiting, and then you go to a fish and chip shop, you just can't compare them. It's just nowhere near similar. And anyone who catches fresh fish will be able to tell as well. You can just tell. When you catch your own, it's just so much better. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the end of this video. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos below. And if you guys want to see any more videos like this where I catch a fish and cook it up and you have any suggestions on what fish you want to see me catch and cook, leave it in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.